interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. Welcome to SeaWorld's Orc Encounter. I'm Stephanie, and I'm honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic animal. While they are found in every ocean, orcas living off the coast of Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. Funny noises. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of orcas. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. Viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Regulate their body temperatures. Mm. 
flippers are really big. The flippers on the sides of their bodies are called pectoral flippers and are mainly used for steering and stopping. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside them, just like the human hand. The lobes at the end of the tail are called flukes. Tail flukes are a killer whale's engine, propelling them close to 30 miles per hour. Now they'll swim the fastest and use the most power when they're propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Vocal development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as part of their communication. They use pectoral slaps to show their dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother might use a peck slap to gain her calf's attention. So when they really want to be heard, they preach. Sky hopping is how killer whales coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings when they hunt. together to rear their young, protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. 
Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's no, hunting no. techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, bring them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. That got the southern and hemisphere will capture sea lions by pulling them right off the beach. Watch as Nikai and Shuka demonstrate the same behavior movement right here in front of all of you. Antarctic orcas will actually create waves that wash over floating ice knocking seals into the water. A lot of the behaviors you've seen our whales do so far are showing you those same wave-making techniques demonstrating some of the many impressive and complex hunting abilities killer whales have developed around the world. In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator.
attached and will rub their bellies on rocks when they can. Much like how killer whales in British Columbia would do. each other in the wild. We see here at SeaWorld all the time. Our whales are always mimicking and learning from each other. Every day 
is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you should help our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.